This one was loaded with the three aster last time, if I remember correctly. Oh my goodness, four of them. Holy five. Holy crap. Good morning, everyone. We are out here. It is a day after you last saw me. Really only a couple of hours because we were out late last night chasing frogs. But as you can see, we got some serious rain here last night and some serious storms that really did a lot of damage. But uh, either way, everything's fine here. Everything was fine at the house. A lot of people weren't so lucky. We're out here the next day getting ready to do a little bit of walking around in habitat. It's nice and overcast. The sun's supposed to peak out a little bit today. So it should end up being a really good day to look for snakes after all that rain. Um, it's nice and moist. Everything should be out trying to dry up when the sun comes out. So Graham and I are going to hike around and see what we can turn up. This is Graham's last day of the trip. So after he goes home, I plan on editing a lot of videos and cranking them out. He's not happy about the fact he has to go back to Colorado today. All right, guys, Graham just flipped our first snake of the day, frustratingly far into the day. A nice little racer under a rock. Uh, this guy's nice and healthy. Looks like he's getting ready to start his first full year of existence on this planet, chasing lizards. So we're going to put him back under his rock and keep flipping, see what else we can turn up. It feels great out here right now. The sun keeps peeking out. Snake should be out right now. Um, kind of surprised it took us this long to find something. So we're going to put him back and keep herbing. All right, guys, just spotted our next snakes of the day. There's two racers chilling right here on this log. Look at that. That's really cool. I'm going to try to get a picture of them, and then we'll get closer. We don't want to disturb these guys because they are probably a mating pair, but you can see one of them's moving over a little bit, and then that guy on top of the log is just chilling still. Really cool. Anyways, we're going to back off and let them do their thing, but two more racers for the total for the day. All right, guys, just flip this little ring neck under a rock. We've seen a couple of these today, but this is the first one I've shown. He was upside down when I flipped him, which was really weird, but either way, just a quick little ringer. We're going to put him back. Anyways, we're going to move to a different spot and try to switch up the pattern a little and see if we can be a little bit more productive. All right, guys, we just cruised a little snapping turtle in between spots. I was really worried. I hit him at first, but I managed to miss him because he just suddenly showed up in the middle of this road. I was not expecting to see a turtle here, but... Little common snapper, second one we've seen in the last couple days, or second baby at least. Look at this little guy. Look at all these trucks that would have ran him over had we not come along. It's your Incredible. lucky day, fella. Look at this little man grabbing me with his feet. Either way, second uh, little baby hatchling common snapping turtle in as many days. Really cool. Love seeing these guys. Didn't really see any last year, and now they're just all over the place for some reason, so really cool. We're going to film him a little bit more and then move him off the road. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. There's a queen snake on this log over there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. But the water's super high here, so you probably won't be able to hear me very well. So I'm going to keep this narration brief. We're probably just going to leave that guy right there since we saw a lot of queens in the last video. But first snake at this next spot. All right, guys, next snake of the day at this next spot. Nice little ring neck in C2. Plenty of these guys out today, obviously, so just gonna leave him alone. I think this is the fourth one, maybe? Something like that, so I'm just gonna move him, put his rock back, and keep flipping. And right there is exactly what we're looking for, a beautiful Eastern King Snake in C2. Look at that. I'm gonna get a picture. Look at that. Step up on top of these logs, you'll see him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's an awesome in C2. Yeah, dude. Get your camera out and get that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Never gets old. Beautiful Eastern King Snake just chilling in the leaves here. Nice and concealed. She's got a little bit more of her body exposed than uh, a lot of the kings I've spotted, so it makes for a good picture. But really awesome. And possibly a great way to end Graham's trip if we don't see anything else at this spot. Holy crap, they're so good here. Look at that thing. Dude, look at that. That. Look at that what? That. What's happening on her side. Yeah, she's got like almost a half stripe there. Oh my goodness gracious, what a snake. <laughs> they just keep coming. So this snake has just some incredible patterning on his sides. Absolutely beautiful. 
Anyways, like Graham said, uh, there's always more to be found. So we're going to get some shots of this beautiful snake, let him go, and see if we can turn up another one. Oh, what a beautiful snake. Absolutely never gets old. This is the first one I think we found basking this trip, isn't it? Everything else has been flipped. For, for whatever reason, they've been real hesitant to come out and bask this week, which is normally not the case this time of year. This is normally one of the best times to find them out. But, I mean, I won't complain. Well, that's exactly what we were hoping to see here today. And we got it pretty easily at this spot. Our first spot of the morning didn't really pan out. We saw a couple snakes and then... Maybe 20 minutes out of the car here, we turn up our first Eastern King snake of the day. We've got a couple more hours before Graham has to be at the airport, so we're gonna let this snake go and see what else we can turn up. All right, we're releasing this guy back into his brush pile. See what he does. Probably just gonna go back over there where we initially spotted him. Well, we just let that other king snake go, and I was walking along this dead tree, peeked behind the bark right there, and another one. What on earth? You just can't make this up at this point. This is ridiculous. Holy crap, it's beautiful, too. This little guy is so clean. I mean, look at that. Awesome. Two great-looking king snakes here today. So far. I mean, we've still got a couple more hours until Graham has to leave, so... We're gonna take pictures and see if we can get another one. I'm going to let him back into this sheet of bark that he calls him up, called. I love when I mess up the <laughs> the narration. For Here's the next snake of the day. Another queen snake chilling over the creek right there. Barely see her, but way out there over the water, so we're gonna leave her alone. But nice to see, of course. We just saw another snake that dipped in, so maybe there will be a lot more snakes out down here by the creek. And right here past the queen snake, there's a nice Midland water snake just chilling. Look at that. Perfect pose. We might take a picture or two of this guy. Hey. Graham's out of here. Peace out. All right, everyone. I just dropped Graham off at the airport, and I am headed home for the day. It was a fantastic day. I was really surprised we actually managed to get two king snakes at that spot. Uh, that's a spot that I've only seen a couple ever, so really awesome. Anyways, I'm probably going to have to make this a two-part video. I'll be wrapping up today's segment here, and I will see you guys next time I get out in the field, which will probably either be, it'll probably be Sunday. I might spend tomorrow editing for the most part because I'm behind, but uh, I'll probably get out Sunday too, so I will see you guys then. Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple days since you last saw me. I took a couple days to edit and compose myself and rest up. After a really ridiculous week of herping, I'm out here today with Micah, and we're hoping to get back after it. We're here in Alabama today looking for Scarlet King snakes, anything we can turn up really, but Scarlet Kings are the big target for me. But anyways, we are up in some montane habitat. Gonna be hiking around, flipping a lot of rocks today, and hopefully seeing a lot of snakes. So we're gonna get after it, and I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. It's super cool today. Uh, got down to in the low th to mid 30s last night, so. It's going to be one of the cooler days we've had in about two weeks, so hopefully that'll be a good thing considering how late in the year it is now, and uh, stuff will be trapped under rocks trying to warm up on this nice sunny day. So we're going to get after it, and I will keep you guys updated. I'm going to attempt to record with the GoPro on today and see if I can get some flip clips since rock flipping and phone recording are not really uh, compatible because I'm going to need both my hands. So hopefully I can get some stuff on the GoPro. I'll have it running at least until it dies or I run out of space, so. I flipped about 80 and haven't found anything yet. <laughs> All right, guys, Micah struck first today with this nice, healthy ring neck. Looks like it could even be a gravid female, super plump. Good looking about going to shed, so. We're on the board with this healthy ring neck to start the day. Ring necks. Very nice. Well, the ring neck stink is now solidified if it wasn't already. Nice double flip just now. Third and, or second and third snake of the day. Two more ring necks. Ah. 
a lot of these are definitely feeling too warm already. Which sucks. Ring neck, nice big one. Lots of in shed, guys. Lots of big, healthy ring necks right off the bat. This is number four, I think. Just as big. I know Mike has gotten a couple more up there, but number four already. So probably more than four, depending on how many Mike had turned up. Rock on rock. King snake. Very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Black king. Amazing. Bro. All right, guys. Well, check that out. Absolutely beautiful black king snake just flipped under a nice little rock on rock situation. A lot of the rocks here are super flat and super warm right now, but that one was a little bit denser. And uh, the snake was cool to the touch when we picked him up. So I guess we're just gonna have to find the right rocks today, but really nice start to the day with this nice black king snake. So unlike a lot of the black kings we get in Georgia, this snake is almost solid black. I mean, you can still see faint remnants of bands. Absolutely the tiniest bit of Eastern king snake influence going on here, but really cool, really great looking snake. I will never complain about starting the day with a Getula type king snake. So if we don't get a Scarlet King, it's not the end of the world. I'm content with this guy, but still early. We've got all day. So we're gonna photograph him, put him back under his rock and get back to it. The snake has really good contrast, nice bright yellow on the sides. And then that's just absolutely beautiful matte black on top. Really good looking snake. Juvenile, uh, not quite breeding size, but as I've said before, black kings are usually significantly smaller than eastern kings, so this guy will breed at much smaller size than a eastern king snake, so. All right, let's return this black beauty to a rock. Good looking black king snake to kind of kickstart the day. Awesome. All right, back to your rock. There you go. What a perfect little king snake rock. Ring neck, nice. Ringer. Been a minute since we've seen one of these, but surprisingly, still sitting at two snake species for the day. Bunch of ring necks and that one black king so far. We'll put this guy back. All right, GoPro's dead, but here's a nice double flip. Two ring necks curled up in there, just chilling. Nice looking, one's nice and one's in shed, but pretty cool to see him just chilling like that. All right, here's the first for the day. Nice little Eastern worm snake. Something I was expecting to see more of today than we have for sure. It's noon at this point and we are one Lampropeltus deep and uh, probably around 30 snakes at this point, but most of them have been ring necks with the exception of this guy and the king snake. So either way, nice healthy adult Eastern worm snake. Gonna put him back under his rock and keep at it. Still feels pretty good out here. So I'm not discouraged yet. I think we still have a good chance of seeing what we're looking for. So we're gonna put this guy back and get after it. Bite. So since my GoPro's dead, I missed the flip clip. And since it's hot, he dipped the second I flipped him. <laughs> but right here, biting Micah, is my first Alabama Scarlet King snake of the year. Oh, it's a lot more orange than I was expecting. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. He was under that rock right there. 
Looks just as uh, typical as any of the other rocks we flipped today. So just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Flipped that up and he was coiled right there and he went straight for that hole. So no one see two on that guy, unfortunately, as much as I would like to have gotten one. Well, that is incredible. I believe this is only my second uh, Scarlet King snake here in Alabama. We are definitely racking them up this spring and doing a great job of finding them under rocks, which is one of my big goals for the year, is to figure out how to flip these guys without peeling them. Um, so really awesome. Absolutely makes the day to see this guy. We're gonna get some quick photos, put him back under the rock, see what else we can turn up. I mean, there's tons of other cool species we could find here that we haven't seen yet today. And of course, I would never complain about more of these or more Black Kings, so. What an incredible snake. Anyways, absolutely what we came here for, so we're just gonna put this guy back, got some photos, and uh, see if we can turn up another one or something else. Either way, day is absolutely made. We got two out of the three lamp pelts we could possibly find in this area, so I'm more than satisfied with that. We're gonna let this guy go and keep flipping. So check this ring neck out. Basically no markings on his belly, only a handful of little spots. That is almost a northern ring neck. Definitely in the intergrade zone here in North Alabama, but mostly southerns, except for this guy. Looks like he's predominantly northern, really cool. The way you can tell them apart is mainly southerns are gonna have a lot of markings on their belly. Northerns are gonna have a solid yellow belly. So kind of interesting. Also northerns are bigger. You can see this guy's pretty large. All right, there we go, number two. Not quite in C2 because he's freaking out under here, but it's the rock he was under. This one is a baby baby. Look at this little guy. He's super tiny. This is last year's baby Scarlet King. I mean, you can see just how small these guys hatch out. And this guy's super healthy too. He had a good winter. Uh, he's got plenty of meals into him. So, I mean, it's not an unhealthy snake by any means. They're just super tiny when they come out. But either way, two Scarlet Kings today. Ring neck. Yep, Scarlet King ring neck combo. That's probably ring neck 50 for the day. Scarlet King number two. Dude, you are ferocious for how tiny you are. Anyways, two Scarlet Kings and a Black King now. This has been an awesome day. I'm gonna photograph this guy real quick and then we'll put him back. All right, guys, we kind of had a snake drought for a little bit there, but I just flipped a new worm snake along with a bunch of scorpions under here. Check that guy out. He's probably gonna, yep, slurp down that hole. Anyways. There's a couple more of the dozens of ringnecks we've been seeing. We're in a slightly different habitat now, just slipping some rocks on the side of the road. But let me put this, let that little one go. But I wanted to show you this one. Super healthy, might even be gravid already. Just shows you how early uh, some of these snakes here get going, even though we're at high elevation and it's still in March. But uh, look at this rock. It's as big as me. It's just perfect. There's a little worm snake under it. That should have had something better than that. That's nuts. Well, that was awesome. What an incredible day. I cannot believe how well today went considering the weather. Uh, I mean, it wasn't bad or anything. It just, it felt a lot. It felt really hot and uh, no clouds in the sky, uh, but evidently the cold overnight temperatures had snakes under cover and eager to warm up today. So anyways, I'm back in Georgia now. I'm at a spot that's relatively on the way home. I'm gonna try to flip a king snake here to end the day, um, but we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, I haven't popped a king at this spot yet this year, but today feels like as good a day as any. And uh, the first one of the year should be showing up any day now. So hopefully it's gonna be today. A Rithrogaster, big one. It's the first snake I found under this piece this year. This has just been an erythrogaster party lately, which is always fun, but really wanting to get my first king here of the year. Not under that one. I'm guessing since we didn't get one under that first piece, we're not going to, but you never know. Another erythrogaster, little guy, just chilling. They're a lot more inclined to chill today because it's a little bit cooler. This one was loaded with Rithriaster last time, if I remember correctly. 
Oh my goodness, four of them. Holy five. Holy crap. What on earth? Only one of them hung out, but holy crap, that was awesome. Well, I was right about today being a perfect day to flip this stuff, but maybe just not for king snakes. Nobody under that one. I can't believe how many snakes were under that last one. That was crazy. So I figured I'd take a second to talk a little bit about that because that was really freaking cool. Uh, I think I saw like seven or eight erythrogaster here, which is the most I've ever seen. And uh, that might lead some people to think, well, why were there no king snakes here today? I think part of the reason is because it's just a little bit early. This area is super low lying. It's all floodplain. It floods pretty heavily throughout the year. Um, and to the point where some of that cover even ends up underwater. So I think what's going on here is the king snakes actually hibernate kind of up in this upland stuff that's kind of limited here and as the year goes on they'll move out into that stuff and that's why i kind of start getting kings out there a little bit later than i'd expect for example last year i think i got my first kings there uh like the second week of april regardless i would expect them to show up any day now especially with the ever-growing amount of erythrogaster which are finding their way into that area but anyways i'm probably gonna end this part of the video here i'm not sure how much content i have from today i might do like a little backyard flip tomorrow and wrap up this video Either way, I'm going to end this part of the video here, and I will see you guys next time I get out in the field, whenever that is.